Hi guys, it's another weekend here. Let's check out the balcony garden. Okay, so I'm seeing that uh, this kale that I had regrowing for some time is now gone again. It looks like uh, some of the caterpillars or other bugs are back. So, and I don't see any here, so we'll be watching for that. That one dried out completely for some reason. Have no idea why. This one is beautiful and juicy and I don't see no bugs. Thankfully, looking perfect. This one is also all good. Same one for this one. You see, they are so beautiful. I need to use them and I'm lazy and I'm not doing that and I'm enjoying seeing them so and that one is over there no the mints this mint uh, became slightly more like um, leafy if I can call it this way either it's because there is less sunshine lately maybe mostly because of that so it's not drying out as it used to previously and this one is uh, all right same story as previously nothing new looking good to me now at the bottom part the blueberries are just living their normal life no more berries for this year but they are doing good and the same story for the strawberries, for the tower here. I think my tower started regrowing some babies. If you see over... No, it's, this is the leaf, but I'm seeing over there, you see, a longer a line. And there is something at the end. So it's my strawberry regrowing some babies. So for the fall, I'm gonna cut them in pieces and replant them in my pots that where I lost all my strawberries early this year hopefully i'm gonna have a lot so i'm gonna have enough for my little pots for next year and this the chandler is looking beautiful and um reddish i like the color of the leaves yeah now look at this uh, container which is used to be the container for the lettuces you can find a lot of uh, new tiny greens what this is is that uh, from my last container where i used to have my spinach and there was one arugula and there were lots of t uh, small babies growing i think those are the mostly the arugulas these the round leaves are the arugulas and the uh, spiky leaves are the um, spinaches so the seeds were dropping down in the soil and uh, started sprouting so now I replanted them here so that they have um, space light and can start growing for the fall so this is that now here this was the lot where I buried a lot of my stuff and I'm seeing that also I replanted some of my peppers in this lot uh, i see that the peppers are not striving perfectly you see uh, some dropping leaves uh, it is regrowing a leaf but um, maybe there is not enough sunshine for the peppers because they do love sun so this one is so so that one is you see uh, kind of like doing i don't know I think it's drying out completely. This one is still like is firm, but this one is completely wobbly. That one is fine as well. But the new growth is the uh, oh, this one is uh, fine as well so far, but uh, stagnant, you know. So new growth is the uh, the dill that used to be here and dropped in the soil and started regrowing 
So I'm gonna have some fresh greens for the fall, which is good. Now the next one is the beautiful pepper slot. You see they're growing the larger and larger buds. Look at this one. You see, my gosh, you can't believe this. I didn't have time to show you this, it was during the week. This one was flowering so nice and you see, it already got pollinated. I'm seeing a tiny, really, really tiny pepper. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Now this one is not, no, it is having a, a bud, but this lettuce is started bolting. I'm gonna have to get rid of it soon because there is no, no reason in keeping it. Lots of buds here. This one from the other container is having the buds here as well. And we are s smoothly transitioning to the next lot. Look, lot of of lots of uh, flowers, buds. Look, there is someone, some kind of beast on my pepper, smaller one. I got rid of them. Look, there is lots of um, new growth here. Look, to me, it looks like the lettuce. I may be totally wrong, but I'm gonna keep them for now. This looks like weed. I'm gonna get rid of the things that look like weed. But otherwise, those look to me like lettuce. So I may have a second batch of lettuces for the fall. Maybe not, if it turns out to be... Look at this. You see? I think this is a butterfly that... Where is it? That grows here, this. That grows from those caterpillars that eat my kale. And what it wants to do, it lays its eggs. And then I'm having another batch of caterpillars. This is the reason for my caterpillars coming back. You see? It's seeing that there is a nice kale and it wants to munch on it. I'm gonna have to look through and check if there are any eggs that I need to get rid of. I don't need no more intruders. <laughs> okay. Let me get over there, on the other side of this stick. Oh, okay. And you see, it's not stopping, it's like, look, just trying to get rid of it. It's trying to eat my kale, so lay its eggs. So I'm loving this pepper. And this last one is over here, still smaller buds. Too tiny for now, but... So far, it's looking pretty cool, the peppers, you know, even though they're wobbly. They have lots of buds. Hopefully, I'm gonna have some peppers. I'm gonna be so happy to share that with you guys. Okay, for this, my princess lettuce. It's growing tall and it's gonna start blossoming soon, which I'm happy about. Happy about. I want to collect the seeds because I like it. And since we are here, the tower with the strawberries is looking fine. I collected some of the strawberries last time. Just probably gonna trim these uh, stems where the strawberries used to be. If I remember some of the strawberries that are still getting ripe. Some more over here. You see? Over there, some green ones. Oh, this butterfly wouldn't just leave. Oh, I need to check on this one. Okay, so the key lot. For now, looking beautiful and I need to have the leaves. I need to cut the leaves and eat them. Otherwise, these butterflies gonna lay its eggs and I'm gonna have the caterpillars back again. Oh, look at that. It returned back to that kale. 
You see? I won't leave. Gosh, I need to keep attention. Keep my eye on it all the time. What if it ready leads some eggs? You know? Who knows? Gonna have to keep an eye. Oh, really? The blueberry here. Um, I have a few of uh, green berries still. And one is already darker, ripe, but they don't uh, um, ripen too fast, which is okay. Now this lot used to be my huge lot of uh, of uh, lettuce, if you remember. Uh, this is the same story. I planted the tiny sprouts from this one. This used to be the, sp um, the spinach and one arugula. I think that one arugula just spread its seeds all over and uh, there were some of the spinaches that sprouted. So I'm transferring them into that first one, first lot. And over here for now, you see, those are the mostly the arugulas, but I think also the spinach. So the spiky is the spinach, like this. And those are the arugulas. Yep. And my celery and the lettuce. Probably had to get rid of it because it doesn't look like there is much uh, action going on here. Look at the chives. They regrew so much. Remember I cut them like all so like down. Look at them. They just insanely regrew. I need to keep cutting them so they regrow so and I can have a continuous flow of chives. Now the top layer a kale. I planted some of the some of the spinaches from seed and they started sprouting, not everything, sporadically only. Three, I was planting like maybe ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to ten seeds per lot. And they sprout sporadically, only three here for now. Here it's four for now, and some of the other stuff is sprouting. My gosh, look at that. It's back again. It won't stop. Hmm. Anyways, so four here. And um and so far here it's one, two, three, four, f five, five over here, not too bad. And some more lot of sprouts of something. Not sure what it looks like. Probably it's um, um, dill, but I'm not sure 100%. Okay, for this one. Look. Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyways, so the kale is still okay, but with this butterfly, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be okay. And a one and two sprouts of the of the spinach and the other kale that was beaten up so much in the past, reviving slightly. Now this last one with a lettuce and some other remains of lettuces and another lettuce and I think this is the baby lettuce. So it has one, two three sprouts of the spinach and what's this another one is it <laughs> looks like it's the fourth one okay so that's it 
Now let's turn to this side and look at our tall green tomato that doesn't do anything just you know it's again taller than me and it goes in cycle I trim it and it grows again tall and it's never ending cycle with no results but you can see some of the results here on the beefsteak side you see the beauty over here and I'm having half ready other beefsteak I'm gonna collect them both this one is gonna get ripe uh, on the table that one is even like ready to to be eaten look my gosh just get out of here now there are two now there are two wow i've seen two of them now that's insane i'm gonna have just to watch so closely oh my gosh and it's all on the kale my poor thing you see it's trying to just beat my kale harshly look back let's see so far it's looking nice but gosh that beast is just insane now i'm preoccupied okay now for the cucumbers this one the tiny one is flowering but uh, it's so tiny it's so thin the stem is like you know hardly surviving so i'm not having much hopes whatever it's gonna do it's gonna do but this one remember we had the cucumber already so this one the button one started getting some flesh you see? I think I'm gonna even take it off the wine already. And look over there. There's the second one. This one more like a um, pear shape. And look over here. My gosh, you see? It's huge. I'm gonna take this one off as well. So I'm gonna take them off so that the new ones can get you know, fertilize, uh, get um, pollinated and start growing more. This, whatever it is, uh, the uh, bug or or fungus or whatever it is, it's just spreading, but I don't know what to do with it. Now this, oh yeah, sorry, I missed. Here, I can show you the beauty, beautiful pepper you can only even see like a small tiny like pepper like uh, center of it so if it gets pollinated it's going to be a pepper and we can help it because it's so like close all these things are all close together here we are touching the you see my finger is toenail is all with this goodness that pollinates the center of our pepper and we are pollinating it right now here yeah nice magic okay now the other cucumber looking nice and look at this it's having a cucumber i'm going to take this one off as well now i have a couple of beauties i'm gonna have four cucumbers and a kale this one is starting getting getting uh, eaten up so what i found was there are many tiny um caterpillars green caterpillars back so that's why i'm suspecting those uh, 
butterflies are laying eggs and I'm thinking these are the eggs every time I'm just you know rubbing it off and kind of like you know destroying it but I'm seeing it, those again and again so um, I suppose those ones come by later eggs and uh, and then those green caterpillar here I see another one on the edge mm, hard to see like this one here ah, like that one you see the, the yellow thing that's in my mind the egg that those caterpillars oh sorry those butterflies are lying lean which turns into a caterpillar like in a couple of days probably sorry i lost uh, the power for some time but now i'm back and look at this other container it, this used to be like regrown they used to regrow and you see it's all eaten up again this is because i found lots of tiny green caterpillars back and i think these are the again those butterflies lay their eggs from which the green caterpillar caterpillars start to grow and stuff and stuff so i need to be really attentive with these things and a tiny cucumber which is probably the story of the first one i'm not sure if it's gonna work out or not but let it be and that last one slightly beaten up but still uh, like leaving and i'm paying a close attention to see if any caterpillars are going to be eating it so that's uh, our garden this weekend looking so beautiful and nice and I'm loving it and this pepper is blossom it's blossoming so nicely and I'm loving all my garden this is how it looks beautifully this weekend and I hope you enjoy watching it with me and I'll see you next time bye So these are the tomato crops for this weekend. It smells divinely. And these are the cucumber crops for this weekend. Beautiful. One is large, the other are smaller, but I love all of them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click the bell icon beside the subscribe button to be notified about all new videos or live streams.